Hello everyone. I'd like to talk about a subject that um is kind of good or is it disturbing? It is your choice what you think. I'd like to talk about privileges in Jehovah Witnesses religion. Watchtower have their circuit overseers to encourage the elders to help people to have privileges and work themselves up from working the mics, the sound system, a minister or servant, all the way up to become an elder. Sisters, uh, privilege of being an elder's wife, <laughs> um, privilege of being a pioneer, which, you know, there's few stages of, of pioneers, but we talk about the bottom one, regular Jehovah Witness, and the top one of getting so many hours. Uh, is privileges a good thing? Or is it pure evil? Well, that depends upon the religion. That depends is your privilege is leading you into um, accurate knowledge and showing you love, compassion towards others when you receive these privileges. Or do you use privileges to corrupt, bully, seduce other people and children in the congregation? Now, I was listening to uh, it would be this week is which since it's, it's almost over uh, they had the Jehovah Witness man him and his family I think the kids was old enough when the whole entire family was asked to move to to the new he headquarters to um, privilege of doing different things, giving up their home, they sold their home. People, how stupid does this sound? We have heard Watchtower has been throwing people out because they was done with them. They didn't need them no more. Can you imagine having your home and you sold it practically nothing because you was given a privilege to live at the headquarters? This is not A good thing people it's not what God wants us, us to do to join a false religion to give up our homes our freedom our hearts to join watchtower and these other false religions
when privileges has turned good people into hateful, bitter, bully to others, <clears throat> how can that privilege really was a good thing? Does being a special pioneer stop you from making yourself as who you are? Now you have more time you have to use to get all your hours in? I don't think God and Christ we wanted a person to put in so many hours a day knocking on people's doors. Especially when you fell the test and seeing if you are in the truth. Privilege is worthless when you're in a false religion. It means nothing to Christ, nothing to his Father. It's just time, energy, and money you wasted for privileges. We have heard about elders has used their power, their privilege to destroy the lives of every single person who may mistake or questioning any doctrines questioning about this other elder is uh, doing something illegal and that elder was this elders best friend see people privileges don't mean crap if it's not from the heart the true heart not watchtower dark heart fantasy heart because it's not going to get you nowhere when Christ comes back or the government steps in and literally shake your cage to get you to stop believing this nonsense Jehovah Witnesses supposed to be the true religion. Every religion is supposed to be the true religion. But everyone has the their own doctrines, their lies, their cover-ups. And like I mentioned in my last video, the internet was designed and put in motion for man to create it to give almost their members one last chance. To wake up to examine their religion their doctrines the hidden secrets the watchtower keeps sweeping underneath the carpet
I seen my dad, which I mentioned this a long time ago, he had the privilege. He was the one that was taking the money for the literature. And when brothers and sisters that didn't have the money, since some of them was regular pioneers, he pulled money out of his own pocket and put it in the bag, which he really didn't have because he was feeding four kids plus him and my mother. But he did it out of his heart because he thought that Jehovah would bless him by helping the brothers and sisters to go out door to door the ones who couldn't afford the magazines and it's stupid to me because you know you find the magazines then you're going to have to turn around and try to sell it to get your money back to turn around to buy some more and that's not even counting the gas the time you wasted but see there was some people was telling other people that they didn't have paid for the literature so the elders wanted the count of the money to make sure all the money was there and when the money was was there they still couldn't figure out who's lying the person telling the other person they bought the magazine but none of them even approached my dad and even asked him are you putting money in the bag when a few brothers and sisters uh, didn't have the money to buy, to buy the magazines we're just curious because we're hearing different people saying certain things they never approached my dad that's the reason that got him spiritual weak because his privilege was more a burden than a privilege now brother, the, the, besides that I'm going to say maybe once a month now they want it, want it every three weeks every two weeks every week or every night they want to count the money it was in the order or something like that because they thought my dad was stealing money and when he wasn't my father he enjoyed what he was doing because he was meeting bro brothers and sisters getting to know them because when he broke away from the literature he started oscillating himself in the family because he gave up his privilege because he thought they was accusing him stealing money so all these privileges that people have is to give them something to do so others can look up at them wow this sister here has put in 80 something hours a month let's give her a hand in the other hand how come you're not doing it she got more th things on her plate than you do so truthfully you should be able to put more hours in see it's all a gimmick of promoting privileges to a lot of people to encourage others to do more oh, I like to work with this brother because they're spiritual strong in the truth they go to every meeting. They go to field service. I see them all the time. These are the people I want to hang out with. 
But the only problem is, you're not up their level. Just you are below them. Christ didn't force his disciples to run the race of knocking on people's doors. Which Jehovah's Witnesses don't do that. I have noticed it. Others people have noticed it. They walk so slow, a turtle could almost outwalk them because all their time and energy is is to see how much time you can get in and how many old magazines you can leave out your doors because if you can't place them just leave them oh yeah I remember counting the time and leaving old literature and counting the literature and, oh yeah it made my time card look really good but I didn't go out only Saturdays and very little on Sundays and that took me years ago to re remember that part so people privileges it's nothing to brag about especially when a privilege is handed to you and turn you into a pedophile or forcing someone to sleep with you and forcing someone to take your crap because you think when you got the power of elder that gives you the right and everybody is, is wrong because Jehovah picked you you know darn well God's angels or his Holy Spirit picked any elders every elder where I look at it some is evil and it's and some of us from scale one scale scale ten and some of those is all in prisons right now for murders rape bezelment So how did these privileges that were supposed to be good from Watchtower corrupt every Jehovah Witness? I handled the microphones. I handled the sound system. I didn't want to go no further. Because I've seen how corrupt a bunch of them were. And some reason I never went no further and I'm glad I didn't because if privileges turns good people into pedophiles murderers thieves liars which we all are liars when you join Watchtower you start to learn to be dishonest. You lie to people. You lie in the courtroom. You lie to each other. And you call this God's organization. Wow. No wonder the smart ones leaving Watchtower but the ones who's leaving also leaving part of their heart behind their loved ones their friends 
and that's the hardest part and that's what Christ's words was are you going to pick your family over me are you going to pick your religion when your family is in that false religion over me now he didn't say those sack words but you get the point of what I'm trying to say. We're supposed to please Christ and privileges in these organizations is to put a blind of your eyes or turn you into like a, a evil superhero. Now you got the power to heal or destroy lives. You can't heal no one because when you're in an organization it's based on lies and dishonesty and so much corruption. There's no light. You can't encourage a wicked man cannot encourage another wicked man when his words is pure evil, just like Satan the devil. His words was pure evil to corrupt Eve. The same thing like Watchtower. Their words, their literature is to corrupt Jehovah's Witnesses and every single person who touches it. That's the reason why some of us had to have the suit of armor to keep us strong because I get mentally unbalanced when I have to listen to all these talks every week to find something, a gym, to wake people up to see what I found, how they twist things to make their organization to be righteous. So people, you have the right to refuse any privileges because When you see poison going around in the kingdom hall, poison people that you love, you respect it because they got privileges, and there got to be something wrong. So it's time to do your research. Because we already done it. And we're still learning more. Conniving, twisted lies, watch tires trying to pull. Thank you very much, and y'all have a wonderful weekend.